Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Emerald Sea Glass. I'm Jay Blader, and I want to welcome each and every one of you, and I just want to say that I hope that this is an inclusive community where you guys feel welcome to leave some comments. I know I have a wide range of ages of people watching and a wide variety of types of people from all over the globe watching. So thank each and every one of you guys for tuning in. You are all welcome here and I'm super excited to be back and we're going to get an encounter today on Route 107. I'm going to do a surf encounter because I think Mantike is in the picture. Uh, Wingle, maybe Mantike isn't in the picture. Mantike is not in the picture because it would show up here, but we do have two different Pokemon that we can catch here, apparently. Uh, and we're still leveling up our team. Yep, yep, leveling up Vulpix and Bikini to catch up to everybody else so we can get prepared for the next gym. Uh, there's our encounter! There we go! Route, well, what is this? 107, right? 107 encounter? A star you. Star me is amazing. Fast, super offensive. So, yeah, I, I will gladly take a star you. And let's see if we can't catch it. Uh, any move I use is 100% gonna knock it out. But I think a great ball will do the trick. And our naming scheme for this Nuzlocke challenge is things that you might find on the beach. And, uh, you know what? Y you find on the beach. Uh, sometimes you find starfish on the beach, so I'm going to name this thing Starfish, which is, uh, as I've said before with some of these names, a little what we would say on the nose, right? It's a little, uh, it's a little too exact. It's not exactly clever because it's literally something that, that it is. Uh, but hey, for the sake of this naming scheme, I think Starfish is totally fine. Anyway, we got some battles now, and unless they've got a Pokemon, then I'm like, hey, that's not in the base game, uh, because this is a ROM hack of Pokemon Emerald, so they've just, they've switched up some stuff. Unless there's something that I see switched up, I'm just gonna be skipping through it. So let's do some battles, get some money, get some XP on our Pokemon, and uh, take names. Here we go. Fisherman Denise was no problem. D nice. If you guys uh, know that skit. Same thing with Tony here. He had a Carvana, no problem. Oh, don't. Guys, everyone in this region just gives me their number. I don't want it. Don't call me. I don't want to be your friend. Well, I'll be your friend, but don't call me. Even in real life. I'll be your friend, but don't call me. I will I will send you the voicemail every stinking time. Text me or meet me in person. Those are your two options. All right, we've got Vulpix out here, which is a little scary. And the Remoraid is stronger, so I'm just going to take out the... Yeah, let's just take out the Remoraid. Uh, Icy Wind's not doing a lot, but Mantike has a lot of special defense. Water Pulse, who's it on? Okay, Vulpix, we're fine, we're fine. I'm just gonna be able to knock out this Mantike next turn either way, so we're totally fine. Yeah, Bucket is, like, Ursaring is insanely strong, and I don't know how to evolve Ursaring into Ursaluna in this game, but I know it's possible, and you usually have to, like, do something with the moon during a moon cycle. So I don't know how that's going to be divvied up in this game. It doesn't have day and night cycles. Might have to go on Reddit or a, or a Discord server and try to figure that one out. Because in Ursa Luna, normal ground type. Actually, you know what? There's so many water types in this game. That just an, like an Eviolite Ursa Ring is probably better now that I think about it. Something to ponder on. I really like this route, and there is a lot of water in these games, and they've gotten a lot of flack in the remakes and in these games for there just being a lot of water routes. Uh, in the original games, the like water moving was so slow in Ruby and Sapphire, and they, they made a lot better in Emerald, and even in the next game. And so the water routes just were long and obnoxious. I really like the tropical like water regions, personally. Uh, yeah, we're going to switch here. I don't like having... I don't really like having Vulpix out at level 23. But with a little bit more, um, but what I was saying was like this route I think is really cool because they added like a shipwreck and then they, you have the dive mechanics in some parts uh, of the game. So like even though it is a lot of swimming, I think it's, you still get some cool areas. So that's kind of nice. And that knockoff actually did a lot more than I thought it was going to do. Still didn't do a lot though. We're totally fine. And let's move on to the next battle. Yeah, route, so Route 108, we get another, yet another encounter here, and it's one more water Pokemon I haven't found yet, so that's what the encounter for this route is most likely gonna be. Let's see what we're cooking with. We got another trainer down here. This looks like a place for a hidden item. No? Aw, oh, game, you fooled me again. Whoa, Gyarados. A Gyarados that doesn't have Intimidate? 
Well, this is the abandoned ship. Let's see if they have changed anything here in the abandoned ship. Ooh, a metal coat. We're gonna need dive in order to fully access everything in the abandoned ship. But what I can do is look around in these rooms, pick up some items, do some battles. And we're gonna have some double battles. And for that, I think Ruby is gonna be great. Ruby is so close to evolving. What on earth would compel you to come here? You must be curious. I am. The abandoned ship part is, in my opinion, so cool. I wish they did that even more. I think there's, like, the newer games, they're kind of missing some of that, like, really uniqueness in some of the areas. The areas are just the open world. There's, It's just too much, like, spread out without storytelling. There's some aspects of storytelling, but I, I think that if you get some kind of unique storytelling regions, it makes it really fun. There we go, Tally is down. You're such a tough trainer, let me register you. Oh, oh, come on. Demetrius here has a Jolteon. It's outspeeding me. It has Thunder Fang. Ow, and a Paralysis. Well, we should one-shot it, yeah. Demetrius, you're kind of strong though, you actually damaged me. Ships of this sort are rare, so I'm taking a look around. Hmm, there appear to be other cabins. Yes, there do, and can I take I think one of these cabins I can take a rest in, and that's kind of what I'm looking for. We got a harbor mail. Anything in these trash cans? I feel like one of these trash cans is bound to have something in it, right? I don't remember the complete layout of this place or what the importance here. The door is locked. Storage is painted on the door. Well, let's check some of these cabins. Or I'm getting queasy just being aboard this ship. It's not even moving, but yeah, it's not moving. I'm. You may, there may be something else uh, going on if you're sick and the ship's not moving. I think it's a mental thing there. Oh, wait, 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 We get an encounter here. We get an encounter here. Oh, oh, we get an encounter here. Okay, um, let's think we're going to have to fish for it. Okay, so I think the Pokenav is saying the water is not a fish. It's like, yeah, I can't actually search for it. So I have to, I think I actually have to like be swimming for it. Okay, the, the pond and trees feels a little out of place here. I've been looking around for a minute and there's just really strong uh, tentacles in here. Okay, I've, I've kind of given up looking. I'm gonna call it a day on looking in here. Uh, but I gotta remember, we can get another egg encounter or another kind of fishing encounter here in the uh, in the abandoned ship. So something to just put in the back of my mind. Uh, yeah, let me. F I gotta find a place to heal because we are our team is is hurting a little bit. Can I not heal, please? Hey, a feel. This is the first time I've seen a feel. Whoa, a Tauros. Okay, if I don't one shot a Tauros, Dune dies. I'm. There's no need for me to 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 ever roll those dice. Ever. All right. I would have been fine, but still not gonna roll him. Healing machine? Healer? Place I can take a nap? Ooh, a dive ball? Can I take a nap? One of these beds, please? This is a perfect place to go exploring. It's exciting here. I bet there's amazing treasures on board. Bet there are, but I'd love to heal first. Yay, it's a ship. Very, very insightful. All right, I'm just gonna, just gonna heal with the items. Oh, that's why I heal. Before I go in here and embarrass myself, I'm not good at swimming, but I am good at battles. Well, that's different. A fortress and a pseudo wudo. All right, we got some type advantages here, so I think we're fine it's using bide, which means if we don't take it out in two turns, it is probably going to return the damage. Pseudo wudo got one shot, though. Okay, it did have sturdy, but we're definitely going to knock it out next turn. Yep, no problem. Garrison and Janie going down. There's something about you that sparkles. Oops, that didn't go very well. Well, you, for a little girl, had some strong Pokemon. Uh, revive, great, I can use that in a Nuzlocke challenge. And another double battle? Oh, we were searching for treasure, but we discovered a trainer instead. And there it is, the Volbeat enemies combo. Remember, they got some different typing in this game. We've got a Bug Fairy and a Bug Electric. Neither of which are super great typing for for my team here, but we'll go with uh let's just take out the Volbeat first. Yeah, it used Tail Glow, which is raising its special attack, so probably a good idea to get it out of here. There we go, Ruby. That's what I'm talking about. 
Oh, so strong. Oh, yeah, we're pretty strong. Oh, you made me so angry. I'm going to register you for that. Can you? Okay, you're just going to re force register my phone number because I made you angry. Goodness gracious, these people, I tell you. Let's see. We are going deeper than to the ship. And here we have a scientist. I'm investigating this ship on behalf of Captain Stern. He also asked me to find a scanner, but I haven't had any success. Yeah, I think we're going to need dive to have that. But here we've got a storage key. So we'll have to come back at some point and uh, give this guy his almighty scanner. There's one more battle there, but I, I can't be bothered right now. Actually, I think there's a battle down here I skipped to. This guy. Yeah, I skipped him, but we're going to skip him. JB inserted and turned the storage key. The inserted key st stuck fast, but the door opened. What's this? TM13 Ice Beam. That is one of the ways to get Ice Beam in this game. The other way is with the game corner buying... Uh, coins or tokens. So, hey, that's great. Well, we're gonna make our way out of the abandoned ship and we're almost back at Slateport City. Believe it or not, just a few more trainers to go. And we'll pick up, uh, I think we get one more encounter. We have one more encounter for this route and then the next route we're going in, we have another encounter. So, maybe we can get a horsey in this route. That would be, that'd be cool. I'm gonna assume it's a horsey that we can get here. Here's a double battle. I take huge pride in my Pokemon. We'll show you one speedy battle. I love water type Pokemon. I love other Pokemon too. Yeah, I love water types. They're they're definitely one of my favorites. But they've got a full team of Pokemon here, so maybe a little tricky. We got a good level advantage though. An electric current run across the battlefield. This Manetric has electric terrain as it's, oh my gosh. Okay, we're going to, yeah, let's just take out the, oh, this is tough. I think we just to go out for the Manetric first. Oh, nice. Ruby even took out the Swellow that came in behind it. Ooh, Air Cutter. It's double super effective against Dune. Didn't do that much damage, though, so I think I'm just going to stay out. There we go. Buckets now are strongest Pokemon at level 35. There we go. Caroline and Cory have been defeated. That wasn't cute at all. Wah, I lost. Yeah, cry me a river. Cry me a... a, a it's thin ocean current, dude. All right. What do we got here? Star piece. We can sell that for some money. Oh, come on. Diana. We got another battle here. I'm starting to get tired of these water battles, though. They are uh, so similar. Well, that's kind of different, though. Tentacruel. Another level for Dune. And we defeated Jerome. I won't be able to swim the seven seas like this. That's true. And with that, we are almost... Oh, we made it to Route 109, which means I never did get an encounter. Yeah, we here we've got the same type of things. So I just don't think we're going to really be able to get an encounter for this route. Uh, maybe I should wait for uh, a Super Rod, because I think some of the Super Rod routes, or like what I can get with the Super Rod, are, is going to be different. So I'm going to take a mental note of that. We've got all the different types of stones here, and I'm going to go and buy a water stone. And uh, keep in mind that we can buy these here, because usually I don't think we can, but that's pretty useful. Back at the beach, like I said, not going to be able to get an encounter here yet because of the lack of super rod, I do believe. But I know there's some battles here that we can do, so let's do a few. These young swimmers just had some fairy types, so kind of cool, Clefairy, Clefable. And we're getting Aurora Beam on Vulpix here, which is much much of an upgrade over Icy Wind, so we'll get rid of that. Little kids can dart around so quickly, you don't dare take your eyes off them for an instant. It's very taxing. Mine are with my Pokemon, so they should be okay, but uh, I don't like the butt there. I don't like that. Are you properly protected against the sun? I think so. You'll notice we're not gaining a bunch of XP here. This is that level capping that we turned on. It's basically making the amount of XP that we're gaining go very slowly and very low but with the XP share it kind of all evens out anyway so just allows us to clear this area a little bit safer a little bit faster We've got an item here a PP up might be useful later hey there's even there's a there's some inner tubes here some places to lay down and a double battle <laughs> wow this dude's gonna catch himself a big one for a guy as macho as me, this kind of Pokemon is the perfect match. I bet he has like a really cute Pokemon. I guarantee he has like a Meryl. Okay, Skarmory. Yeah, okay. That's actually kind of macho. I'll give it to you, dude. It is. It's kind of macho. It has a Celerock. And then he also has a Miltank. That's, that's interesting. Well, there we go. Beat the bird catcher and fisherman, Elijah. 
Made a little bit more money. Let's keep going on this route. Swimmer David. We're going to make quick work of you, David. Yep, no problem. You flubbed out. You sure did. And I think we got just one more battle here. Should be a double battle with these two. Paul, well, this is a mood breaker. I wish you wouldn't disturb our peaceful time together. You Okay, I can go away. I'm, I'm prepared to go away. We have young couple Mel and Paul. Dust Ox and a Beauty Fly. Now, these are the buffed versions. Ooh, these are the buffed versions of Dust Ox and Beauty Fly. So, I'm going to... I'm a little scared. Okay, let's do... I think I want to take out the Beauty Fly first. All right, we will tag team the Beauty Fly, taking it, at, it out first. And then we just got to deal with the Dust Ox. And it just is going to use Toxic, which is not insanely... Not really a problem in this situation. Could be, but not... Yeah. This situation, we're fine. Another situation, toxic is annoying. Okay, you're gonna... Okay. You can only spam protect so much, buddy. It actually lived that. That's insane. There we go. Mel and Paul down. Well, I give up. Hey, you guys got a good thing going on, though. <gasps> oh my gosh. It's already level 30. Bikini is evolving. We already got a Mareep onto a Flaffy. And now it's going to make its final form shown. Ampharos. What a great sprite for Ampharos too. Perfect sprite. What a cute Pokemon. We've got Ampharos. It's trying to learn Signal Beam, a bug type move. Pretty good for coverage, believe it or not. So we'll get rid of Tackle. And I think that's all of the trainers in this route. Let me go back one route and just see if we're missing... There's still an encounter we can get back here. I just want to make sure. It could be Starmie. Hmm. No, there is a Pokemon here we have not seen yet that we can get by surfing. So it is going to count for an encounter on this route. Let's see if we can get it. Oh, I just realized this is my first encounter in Route 107. And I don't have a Wingle. I don't have a Wingle. Is this my first... Did I miss a first encounter? Okay, I... I think I might have accidentally missed a first encounter, but I I don't have an encounter in Route 107 or Route 108, and I haven't seen a Wingle yet, and I don't have a Wingle. So we're just going to catch Wingle, and it's just going to be our uh, encounter. There it is. Wingle caught, and naming theme, things that you find on a beach, and you find a bunch of seagulls on a beach, and you find a bunch of... Uh, Seagull, yeah, okay, that would be really cop-out of a name. Uh, we're gonna go with plastic, because when I think of seagulls, I think of things that, uh, I think of litter and stuff, because it really impacts seagulls and a lot of other birds. Um, it impacts the things they eat and impacts them themselves. So, don't litter, guys. Don't leave plastic in the water. But you find plastic at the beach, unfortunately. And then back here in Route 108, I still don't have an encounter. Yeah, there's still this... Okay, let's... Alright, I have give up. I've been doing this for like 20 minutes. Uh, we'll come back with a Super Rod. Hopefully that'll unlock some new encounters for us. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching the water route today. We are going to come uh, continue progressing in the story here in the next episode. And actually, uh, hopefully, make some solid progress towards the next gem. Because we are basically level capped out, as you see there. And uh, next up is Winona. Very cool. We're going to head that way. See you guys in the next one.